This is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Karadimos. We're going to take a look at a special right triangle and uh, derive the relationships for a 45-45-90 right triangle. All right, well, uh, to do that, we're going to start with this quadrilateral. You can see I've got a quadrilateral here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to assume that this is an equilateral, equiangular quadrilateral. What does that mean? Well, it means that all the sides are congruent, all the angles are congruent. In other words, it's a square. Okay, so squares are both equiangular and equilateral. So I want to emphasize that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uh, right angles here. Okay, so I want you to picture all of these angles being right angles. Okay, my, of course, excuse my lack of artistic ability. Uh, all right, now what we're going to do is we're going to draw a diagonal. So I'm just going to connect these two vertices as neatly as I possibly can. And there you go. I've got myself a diagonal. All right, now I can get into all the mathematics here, and I will explain it, that this hypotenuse is obviously congruent to itself. And if we take a look at these two triangles, Keep in mind that all the sides are equal, right? It's equilateral. So that means that this side is congruent to that side, this side's congruent to that side, all the sides are congruent to each other. So I know that by side, 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 in other words, these three sides are congruent to these three sides, respectively. And so therefore, by side, 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 these two triangles are congruent. If the two triangles are congruent, it means that all their parts are congruent by CPCTC. That means that these two angles are congruent. These two angles are congruent also. All right, well, if this is a 90 degree angle and these two angles are congruent, then you could see that the two angles have to be 45 degrees. Now, that's a lot of mathematics, but intuitively, I think people can kind of see this. All right, so we got two 45 degree angles, and for the same reason, it's true over here as well. So these are 45 degree angles as well. All right, well, I'm going to assume that for this tri uh, sorry, uh, equilateral triangle, <laughs> equilateral uh, quadrilateral, that is a square, if I can get my terminology straight, uh, I'm going to assume that all the sides are of length 1. So it's just an arbitrarily, arbitrary uh, square of side 1. All right, so we got all the sides are 1. Now, the last side that we have to calculate is this side here, the diagonal. So to calculate the diagonal, well, I'm going to draw upon Pythagoras, the Pythagorean theorem. Pythagoras works for right triangle relationships, so I'm going to call the hypotenuse C. Now, uh, we all know, or at least we should all know, that the Pythagorean theorem says that if you've got two legs, A and B, and you've got the hypotenuse C. Well, if you square the legs and you square the hypotenuse, that if you add the squares of the legs, it's equal to the square of the hypotenuse. All right, well, we all know that the legs here are 1. They're each 1, so A is 1, B is 1. We just don't know what C is. So we're going to calculate C. So I'm going to square these values. 1 squared is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1 again. 1 plus 1 is 2. All right, well, if you know anything about inverse operations, we know that to get rid of a square, you have to take the square root. It's the only way to get rid of a square. Okay, so the square and square root cancel. And we get square root of 2. So therefore, this side right there, that C, is equal to radical 2. And I've done it. I've just shown that if we do have a 45, 45, 90 triangle, we could see what the relationships of the sides are. All right, so let me write this down so it's really clear. So I'm going to say that if we've got a 45, 
45 90 triangle we could see that opposite the 45 is 1 opposite the other 45 is 1 which makes sense if the angles are equal the sides opposite should be equal all right and then of course we got a right angle opposite that is our radical 2 and these are the relationships that all geometry intrigue students have to memorize and there you go those are the relationships that we have all right so make sure you go to mathguide.com check out all our interactive quizzes our instructional videos and activities take care